the morning mermaid. Yeah! Way too early, Mari. Just stop. Oh, I think it was pretty funny. Hey, you guys went in on something? Sounds shady. I'm in. Secret karaoke sing off. Too many secrets around here. Cafeteria after school. Hello, we are so there. Just don't go full oh. Mari on us. Who's gonna bring it to you? X gonna bring it to you. X gonna bring it to you. X. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, we get it. Oh, come on. That was bomb. Legitness. Fantastic power chant, X. Fire. For reals. Uh, see, thank you. All right. Up next, Mari. I hear you got a voice as bold as my hair. So let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Hit it, X. I come home with my friends at night. So how are we gonna play this in her <laughs> She got nice pipes. Girls just wanna have sun. Oh, girls just wanna have sun. Hey, if the new girls are doing it, you know it's hot. Come on. Mm. What in the world is going on? Oh, girls just want to have <laughs> I told you not to go full, Mari. Hello, you guys. Tons of drama recap and dish coming up. And H2OMG. Today we have an epic tutorial on mermaid high slang. We've shown you how to look like mermaids. Now we'll tell you how to talk like the mermaid high girls. And learn how to create the coolest sets and Insta-worthy dioramas to show off your mermaid high dolls. Shelfie. Shella. Ready to rehash episode seven? Here we go. Just call me mermaid of the morning, mermaid, yeah! Okay, between you, me, and the deep blue sea, I like singing in the shower, okay? But if mermaids are already underwater, do they sing in the shower too? Anyway, before class, the mer friends powwow at the lockers when X invites them to a secret karaoke sing-off. He has no idea what's coming. Just don't go full Marianas. Who's gonna bring it to ya? X gonna bring it to ya. X gonna bring it to ya. X. Yeah. X is not lacking in the karaoke confidence department. Can we all agree? Good for you, X. Good for you. So then the real karaoke begins when Mari belts out, "Girls just wanna have sun." Girls just wanna have sun. <laughs> Pause. Okay, something you should know. Mari can hit those high notes underwater without causing a scene. But up on land? Well, sound works a little differently. So Songbird here starts shattering glass with her pipes. Literally. Water sprays everywhere. And to avoid getting wet and popping a tail and exposing their secret, the mermaids have to, well, See for yourself. Dance party! Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that happened. Can we chill with the close calls? Fortunately, they played it off like they were dancing with some pretty interesting dance moves. That surprisingly caught on with the fellas. Of course, Mari went ahead and did exactly what Sierra told her not to do. Girlfriend went full Mari. Oh, girls just wanna have. Told you not to go full Mari. Smile, doll. Grab your phones and some fantastic props because this segment's all about creating mermazing backgrounds and set pieces to display your mermaid high dolls. That's right. Here's how to make easy Finstagram backdrops. This first one 
You can just use poster board to make a backdrop like this. Easiest backdrop ever for your doll pics. Trust me, a simple white background with good lighting can give you mermazing pics. This next one is a shiny metallic foil curtain backdrop and will truly make your dolls shine. Use metallic tinsel streamers like little door streamers. Instagram worthy, for sure. This next Oshi background really makes a splash. Take poster board and use watercolors to paint long stripes going across the poster card. I'm using shades of blue, then purple, then pink, then more blue again. Now spray the poster with a water spray bottle to slightly mist the paper so the colors kind of blend together. Then let it dry. H2OMG, you got an ocean backdrop with Kriller sunset vibes. Next, we're gonna make a super fun backdrop. Just cut white poster board to make our simple backdrop again. Then use a marker and start writing your fave mermaid high words. H2OMG, fantastic, mermazing. You can also draw whatever you like. Just start doodling things that remind you of the ocean. Starfish, fishies, waves, anything goes. Okay, our final backdrop is simple, but super dramatic. Take a piece of blue fabric, even if it's a blanket, that's good. Ruffle it up like this, like you're making blue ocean waves. Voila, like an underwater selfie. This is so fantastic. Sun's out, pun's out. So, you're probably starting to get that one of the coolest things about Mermaid High is the mermaid lingo. This year is gonna be mermazing. You see, it's not just amazing when you're with these mer friends. It's even better than that. It's mermazing. So today, we're gonna teach you the basics of mermaid high slang so that you can fit in with the crew. H2OMG! H2OMG, deaf one of my faves. And it definitely blows a regular old OMG out of the water. We got this, mer friends! Now sometimes they call each other mer friends, and other times they call each other gill friends. Take your pick, they mean the same thing. Oh, do you know what a mermaid uses to make a phone call? A shell phone, of course! And you know I can't live without my shell phone! Using the word shell is an easy way to mermify tons of words. You all know shello by now. Shello! Then there's shelfie. And let's celebrate! I don't want to be shellfish. Yep, that one too. I'm into Kriller fash and hanging out. Who's picking up the show's Kriller vibe? You're krilling me! Yep, krill are those shrimpish crustaceans in the ocean. So you can see how easy it is to krill it at mermaid lingo with this one. Now for all you yogis out there, you'll love this one. It's a spin on namaste, which is how you say thank you at the end of a yoga class. Namaste. Na mer stay. It's a Finley spesh. And how about all the sophisticated fashions? Land and sea. Way more elevated than sophisticated. And when it comes to the biggest secret at Mermaid High, merm's the word. It's like mom's the word, which is a way of saying, shh, let's keep it a secret. And now that you're in on the secret, merm's the word. Oh, and it's not just a secret. It's an S-E-A secret. Seriously, see how easy it is? For sure. Get it? Now, dive in and send us your fantastic faves, fishinistas. Now, what's a mermaid high party without some gossip? Coming in hot, here's your dish. The whole group karaoke invite by X, that was purely to get Finley there, obs. What you didn't see is Sharky Snarky Dev having a full on meltdown before the karaoke party. Dev on the warpath? That's something I don't want to be around for. And you're probably asking yourself, did they get in trouble for the shattering glass window sitch? They all told Coach Nami it was caused by a big gust of ocean wind, and she totally bought it. Even though everyone isn't always getting along swimmingly, the Mer friends all came together and stuck by their story to avoid the wrath of Nami, otherwise known as detention. Alrighty, girlfriends, friends, make sure you go try out your new mermaid lingo. Hope you had a fantastic time talking Mermaid High. Wait till you see what happens in the next episode. Talk about H2OMG. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you know when the new episode drops. You guys are jawsome. Tails in the air like you just don't care. Bye. Hey!
Show Finn's hair up. Can I see first? Yeah, you get the down. Thank you. But up is kind of like sun's up, hair's up, what's up? Oh, what if you go half and half? We're not talking about a latte. This is my hair, Finley. And this vote is really important to me. Best vote? Voting's my new thing. Oh, and I'm running for student council. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Student council's not a popularity contest. It's about responsibility. I know. And I want to be responsible for important things like planning winter festivals and a beach party. I mean, cleanup, of course. <laughs> Wow, you really put some thought into this. I know, right? So, will you guys help me win? For sure. Then it's official. First things first, all those in favor of my earring say aye. <sighs> Elections in two weeks, guys. Where do we even start? Right over there. Josh, you're perfect. Sorry, the perfect person to vote for me for student council. Excusey, I got your vote, right, Jay? Wow, you're both running? Wow, tough decision. Is it though? Well, what are your platforms? Oh, like a pink chunky heel? No, I mean like, how are you gonna make Mermaid High cooler? <laughs> Mermaid High is already the coolest school ever. I have some ideas. Really? So you don't think Mermaid High is the coolest school ever? Ouch. <gasps> oh my gosh. A real mermaid representing Mermaid High? I don't know. Carolina kind of owns the school. She's going to be tough to beat. <sighs> hey, hey, Mermaid High people. You know what to do. Vote Dev and Cat. Cat and Dev. Now, we know you know Mermaid High is the best school ever, but you know who doesn't think that? Ciara. B O T E. Yeah, you vote for Cat and me. N O P E. Not gonna happen. Meet my friends Ciara, Oceana, Mari, and Finley. Mermaid High Dolls out now. Well, well, seashells. Welcome back to Mermaid High Deep Dive, your source for the latest Mermaid High haps. Today, we got a serious recap of episode eight. Some do's and don'ts to keep your Mermaid High Dolls in fantastic shape. And we've got the Mer friends alive. That's right. You've got questions and they've got answers. What are we waiting for? Episode eight was all the delicious drama you could expect from the girls. So, Ciara informs the girls she's running for student council. The Mer friends agree to help Ciara with her campaign, making it official. And Ciara beelines for Josh's vote, of course. But so does Catalina. Can we stop and just appreciate how sweet Josh looked confused about who to vote for? Dude takes it seriously. And when he asks Ciara and Catalina about their platforms, this happened. Mermaid High is already the coolest school ever. I have some ideas. Really? So you don't think Mermaid High is the coolest school ever? Ouch. While Catalina sings the praises of Mermaid High, deeming it perfect, Ciara claims she's got some ideas for change. Ciara, you were mermaid for this girl. But claw queen Catalina spins Ciara's words as a direct diss to the school and starts her very own smear campaign against Ciara. Then we close out with that less than humble cheer from Catalina and Dev. B-O-T-E, yeah you will for Cat and me. Let's just say Ciara and Friends' positivity parade came to a screeching halt. The girls look scared, and they should be. Speaking of girls. Sorry, not sorry. I just can't stop staring. So by now, you've probably got all four mer friends. And can I be the first to say, congrats on a mermazing collection. Now, here are some Mermaid High doll do's and don'ts. Okay, full disclosure, this should probably be called do's and don't because we only have one don't. So let's just go ahead and knock it. Yes, our mer friends live in the water. But when it comes to your dolls, don't put them in water. Treat them like the H2OMG water-fearing students they are at Mermaid High. Tails in the air? Yep, and keep them there. No water. Ocean fashion splashing? Yes, yes, and yes. 
do create a style C mashup. We got tops and skirts and shoes and tails and jewelry. Mix and match and mash up these sophisticated styles. You can create tons of different looks and even create your own mermaid styles. Sporty boho, punk chic couture, who knows what you'll come up with. And with these tails, the style possibilities are fantastically endless. Like, watch this. Ciara looks sea gorge in Finley's boho crown. Mix it up with Mari's mesh shirt and Oceana's wedge sneakers. Pop a tail and full on fin fab. I just created a new style under the sea. Beach it up. Do take your mermaids to the beach by playing in a sandy spot. You can use a sandy part of your yard, a sandbox, or even build your own mermaid high beach by pouring sand into a plastic tub indoors. Your mer friends can chill on them and soak in the rays. Girls just wanna have sun. Do put on a fantastic fashion show with your mer friends. Grab a shoe box and put a mirror on top of it. Or you can cover it with iridescent paper or glitter paper. Instant catwalk. If you want to create an underwater fashion show, nab a piece of glittery foil printed fabric. You can make a wavy runway that will look like water for your mermaid fashion show. Oceana was born to walk the runway. Now, blast the Mermaid High theme song. You can download it on Spotify. Rock that runway, mer friends. Now let's catch a wave with these mer friends IRL. That's right, I've got all four girls on standby waiting to answer your texts. Let's start here. This one's from Lily. Hey, Deep Dive. How do mermaids go to the bathroom? Ew, TMI, girlfriend. Next question. We got a text from Bryn, and Bryn wants to know if you guys have any other friends who are mermaids. Looks like Finley's taking this one. She says, na mer stay friend, and fantastic question. Yeah, we've got tons of mer friends you haven't met yet. But that's exciting. Thank you, Finley and Bryn. Okay, next question from Everly. Love that name. Okay, so Everly wants to know, what does it feel like to pop a tail? Good question, Miss Everly. Oceana's texting back. Hang on. Okay, she says, tail popping's like a whole adrenaline rush. Walking's cool and all, but swimming with your mermaid tail? Crazy insane fun. Like a roller coaster underwater. Oh, and Mari says, going from one tail to two legs makes everything doubly complicated. I could see that. We got another question here from Aaron. Aaron says, Hello, mer friends. Which do you like better, being mermaid or human? Ciara says, It's def the best of both worlds. We love our freedom in the ocean, but we also love our friends on land. And the shoes. Def more drama on land. But then you never get zipped underwater, so there's that. So cool to hear directly from the fish's mouth, huh? Okay, now who's ready for some tea? Cause it's about to be spilled. Mermaid High Deep Dive, it's on. Can we talk about the royal rendezvous that was Catalina and Dev on everybody? And I mean everybody's phone. Dev was a little over eager, if you ask me. And Catalina? The look on her face was giving very much been dragged somewhere she doesn't care to be energy. And that happens to be very true, according to a source today at lunch. Catalina is so over campaigning and thinks she's entitled to win. Way to keep it humble, Cat. Girls, 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 mer drama, drama, drama. Oh, I took a campaign selfie with Ciara after school and girlfriend was shook. Let's just say campaign wear and tear is showing on that girl's face, but you're still pretty, Ciara. Okay, my friends, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. Do make sure you pop a tail and don't miss next week's epic episode where we find out if Ciara wins student council. And say it with me, tails in the air like you just don't care. You guys are amazing. I'm telling ya. Till next time.